it's baby time. Too many thoughts on my mind, I can't sleep at night, so I just keep writing. I don't need no help, I don't need opinion, so don't waste my time then. This is the Hall of Fame, Bret Hart. He's a focused acrobat. Let's look at the stats. Ain't nothing wrong with that. At present, when it comes to his coaching abilities, they are not in game. His links, Hall of Fame links, plus four MP gear. Multiply gems do 35% more damage and receive 20% less damage from all colored gems. First move set, uh, monkey flip, deal about 61k damage and make a 5x5 area into multiply gems of strength 3. Spout pile driver, damage for every multiply gem and running crossbody, uh, destroy multiply gems. We got Finn Balor, multiply gems do 35% more damage. AJ Styles for the plus 2 blue MP. Robot John Chenna, 20% less damage from red gems. And the dragon for red MP, starting reduced by 3 for your opponent. Reason being, I'm fighting Keith Lee, so I'm at a class disadvantage. And this preview is with no straps, no medals, no plate, straight raw dog, hashtag dirty puppy. We're going to just see how Brett performs on his own. And in my opinion, this is the only build you need. You're going to start by throwing out multiply gems. Make sure you get some blues and greens. Then you're going to do damage for every multiply gem. Then you want to destroy one green and two blues. Because the blue move is a six charge. That's it. You don't want anything more or it will force a pin. Yes. Very nice. Are we going to wash, rinse, repeat that? entire cycle again make multiply gems damage for every multiply gem now on this one you can go ham you can destroy i would destroy mostly blues and one green obviously because blue gems give the most damage I wasn't greedy enough. I could have gotten one more green at the bottom, but why did I go for red? Anyway, it is what it is. We're doing fine. Look at this. This is all, what? This is turn one or turn two? I can't remember. I think this is turn one. And look at how much damage I've already done. Wash, rinse, repeat. This is literally the only build you need. Literally, if you put a um, I guess a double fury, double takedown, double armor. I guess you could also put the. I wouldn't even put the the um, the honky plate on him. I would put some other plate that blows up the board. Really, maybe uh, um, the two words for your plate. Oh yeah, look at this. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. No straps. I reiterate, no straps. This is pure Bret Hart on his merit. Pure Brathias. Boy. On his merit. Just go ham. There's only one blue. That's okay. We're going to make Cascado Tostados and uh, Bob's your uncle. Easy victory. Uh, same build, different trainers. Well, we got uh, Matt Hart, multiplied gems, increased by two. Still AJ for the blue MP. 
We got Lacey uh, Green Gems doing 20% more damage and Hulk Hogan Any Color Gem doing 100 and sorry, 1100 damage. Ideally, uh, Sheamus would work perfectly there for more blue gem damage or whoever was a blue gem damage multiply coach, but I don't have those. So I go with what I got. Again, it's the same process, really. Wash, rinse, repete. Now, because it's Matt Hardy, you're going to have to choose less gems because it pushes the pin bar even further. So, on my initial go, I go for one green, one blue. It's not going to fill the blue um, all the way because it's a six charge and it's just a multiply gem of five. So, I can drop multiply gems again if I wanted to, which I will. And I can destroy some more gems if I wanted to. Shall I? Shall I? And I shall. We're going to take as many blues and greens as we like because we disrespectful like that. We mad disrespectful like that. Look at this, man. What we doing? Look at that. Cascado. And a red match. Nice. I like when he pushed me that far. It gives me more chances to break more blues and greens. Mm -hmm. Damage for every multiplier gem. This is by no means the fastest build at least without straps but it's the most effective look at my health look at the scenario it's a good day to be alive it's a good day to be alive was there a cascade i thought i only destroyed three i wasn't paying attention while i recorded or as i am recording the audio separately Time to bring this home. Mm. Playing with a little sum right here. Hit that first. Make multiplies, then destroy, then hit that move again. There's a method to this madness. So we're gonna hit two blues and one green. Two blues and one green. That's it. That's all we need. Oh God, force the pin. That's the danger with having multiply five gems. It will most definitely force pins, which is what we don't want. All right, this is it for him though. Like for real, for real. Before he can get off any moves, a farrell, farrell. Hit him with my dugs. And I'll destroy as many things as you want to destroy. I would probably go all blues at this point. Well, I got a green in there just to be safe. Just to be safe. Didn't need it. He's dead. Uh-huh. Final build. We're going to incorporate the two finishers, choose a 3x3 area to swap to green, and then pin the opponent and decrease all of their gem damage by 75% for three turns. Uh, we got Matt Hardy, multiply gems increased by two. We got Booker T, uh, green gems increased by 35%. Lacey again, green gems for 20%. Hulk Hogan, all color gems for 11 hundo. Um, let me just say, 
before we even get into it, I got lucky with this build. And you will see why. Uh, those other matches were like four or four and a half minutes apiece. This match is going to be like two and a half minutes. Uh, there were I should have um, put a coach for more blue gems on initial board. That's what I should have done. This board is very green gem heavy. I mean, thank you. But uh, it's a five piece You're doing more damage with Booker T and everyone else. So that's 240k. You're gonna put down the gems again and match. Green gems. Uh huh. Uh huh. Look at that. Currently, still no blue matches. That's okay. Finishers ready to go in the next turn. Put that boy there. Looks like black is our best bet to match. Then the finisher is going to be right tag out. Remember, reducing his gem damage by 75% for three turns. I'm at the class disadvantage, which means he gets a 25% boost in gem damage. So really, it's 50% for three turns. One. Two. Look, that's how I got lucky, based on a loot gem match. But really, the first build is all you need. I'll go with that. Probably double fury. <laughs> 